morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Anjali Krishna Jinda, president of the Thai Medical Physics Society. I'm pleased to report from Thailand on the International Day of Medical Visits, IDMP 2024. First of all, I would like to introduce our country, Thailand. Thailand situated in Southeast Asia and we have China in the north and we have Myanmar on the west and Lao PDR in the, in the northeast and Cambodia in the southeast and Malaysia is in the south of Thailand. There are about 67 million Thai people and number of medical visits in Thailand is about 400. There are about four topics uh, that uh, we will introduce to you. The first one is the needs for medical physicists. Uh, we would like to increase the number of clinically qualified medical physicists. The, our challenges is uh, AI in medical physics. And uh, two of our achievements are education and training centers. In Thailand, there are six centers for medical physics. And there are four clinical training of medical physicists uh, centers in Thailand. The advancement is uh, medical physics uh, technology. So we start from education and training of medical physics in Thailand. There are six uh, training programs of a medical physicist, which is a Master of Science program. The first one is Ramatibidi Hospital, Mahidon University, uh, started in the year 1971. The second one is uh, Sirilas Hospital, Mahidon University in 1990, both centers situated in Bangkok. Number three is uh, Chiang Mai University Hospital in 2001 in Chiang Mai. Number four is uh, Chulalongkorn University 2002 in Bangkok. Number five is uh, Naresun University in 2013 in the uh, mid-north of Thailand. And number six is uh, Julapon Royal Academy in 2015 in Bangkok. This is a Master of Science program uh, in medical physics. It is a two-year program with uh, coursework and uh, research. And after graduate a Master of Science program, uh, the graduates can continue for the clinical training of a medical physicist, which established in the year 2007. And our doctoral program in medical physics started in the year 2016. We have a Thai Medical Physics Society, which is a professional society to run the clinical training. And uh, we follow the role and responsibility, education and training uh, requirement for clinical qualified med medical physicists by IAA Human Health Series number 25. There are five achievements. The first one is uh, established of a national curriculum in medical physics follow IAA TCS 56 for our six medical physics program. The second is announcement of a national medical physics license in the, in the Royal Gazette of Thailand on November the 2nd, 2020. Number three is a medical physics position approved by the Office of Civil Service Commission, Royal Thai Government. Number four is an increased number of clinically qualified medical physicists in radiation oncology, diagnostic radiology, and nuclear medicine. Number five is an increase the number of graduates uh, from Master of Science program in medical physics to about 30 per year from six centers and a doctoral program about two per year. Our milestone is a certification of medical physics in Thailand. In the year 2016, Thailand pilot e-learning in clinical training of medical physicists in diagnostic radiology, radiation oncology, and in nuclear medicine. So we have uh, clinical supervisors from uh, different centers in nuclear medicine, in radiation oncology, and in diagnostic radiology. And our residents uh, are local Thai people. Uh, furthermore, we have uh, 
the residents from Myanmar, from uh, Sri Lanka, also from uh, Nepal, from Laos and Cambodia, they did not have uh, clinical supervisors. So we had clinical supervisors in uh, this region because it is an e-learning. The impact and Im beneficiaries. The first impact is a government policy to increase the cancer centers at every provinces in Thailand. And there are 76 provinces, so in the future we will have a 76 cancer center. At the moment, the number of cancer centers in Thailand is around 40. And uh, also, they will include nuclear medicine facilities at the cancer center. This results in the needs of a radiation oncology and nuclear medicine medical physicists and um, the graduates in medical physics to, suppo to support the cancer center at every province. Furthermore, in the field of uh, digital imaging, diagnostic radiology, we have a, a program of a quality assurance and quality control of a digital imaging in order to establish the diagnostic radiology as well as the diagnostic reference level capabilities in the region. Challenges the challenges that come across to our activities are the delay in the clinical training according to COVID-19 of around three to four years. And the second challenge is advanced technology coming up, for example, AI equipment, proton therapy, new radio pharmaceuticals and positron emitters, as well as a cyclotron product that are challenges. And uh, the third challenges are to strengthen radiation protection to non radiologists for example, interventional cardiologists, surgeons and regulators who use the radiation as a tools in the clinical and to regulate the centers. So we cooperate in the term of a refresher course and a training course to the interventional cardiologists, surgeon and regulator. In summary, medical physics education started in 1971. Clinical training of radiation oncology started in 2007 in Thailand, followed by diagnostic radiology and nuclear medicine medical physics. The ample or advanced medical physics learning environment was piloted in Thailand in the year 2016. Uh, both program of uh, education training and clinical training at the moment are sustainable and continuity under the support of a government, a th international atomic energy agency and the professional society of a Thai medical physics society. The lack of medical physicists at the new cancer center in Thailand is our problem. And the collaboration among ASEAN members, for example, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, on the clinical training is uh, appreciated and welcome. This is the environment of a medical physics education and clinical training, especially in the field of uh, diagnostic radiology, medical physics that uh, needs many test tools and uh, the skill for the, for the medical physicists in the future. So we organize the annual meeting every year, but in the year 2025, Thai Medical Physics and Southeast Asia Federation Organization of Medical Physics uh, collaborate to host the 23rd uh, Southeast Asia Congress of uh, Medical Physics and the 16th Thai Medical Physics annual meeting in uh, Chiang Rai, Thailand between 24 to 26 of January 2025 at the Heritage Chiang Rai Hotel and Convention. Uh, welcome to 23rd SICOM and 16th Thai Medical Physics annual meeting. Thank you for your kind attention.